Candidates have used debates and stump speeches to try and reach undecided female voters to varying degrees of success. Loretta Lepore is a communications and government relations expert. Good morning. Good to see you again, Loretta. You doing okay today? I am. Good morning, Ted. It's nice to be with you today. Tell me what Mitt Romney is doing right to reach out to women, and we'll give you the same thing about President Obama. First, Mitt Romney, what's he doing right? Uh, Governor Romney is being very specific in talking about the economy. Uh, pocketbook issues are top of mind for women, though they're not a monolithic voting block by any stretch of the imagination. But both both women in the workforce and women staying at home, that, that's a primary concern in their lives at this point in time. President Obama, what's he doing right? On um, President Obama's side, you know, they've taken the tack of trying to uh, appeal to women through social issues. And they have gotten some traction with those who are in line with them, uh, perhaps not as effective with the modern voters um, or potential crossover voters that they might be attempting to attract from the conservative side. Is this a good thing that they're specifically going after women or is it pandering? Well, I think you have to consider the female vote. After all, they're 51% of the voting population. They're 51% of the electorate. And this election cycle, we're seeing women being much more active. They're advocating on behalf of candidates. They're educating themselves and others about the issues of the day. We're seeing unprecedented level levels of engagement, and that's really important and significant. So these candidates do have to speak to women, and women specifically. But getting back to your initial point, I believe, that the, the, women, female, that the female voting block is not a monolithic block. You can't say, one thing and then all the women are going to vote. Uh, how does one of these candidates successfully get as many women as he, as he possibly can? Because most people are saying that whoever gets the best women vote is going to win this thing. Yeah, that's probably true. It is critical, particularly in, in swing states like Ohio, where women will be critical to how that state goes. Um, I think Governor Romney uh, is trying to do that. Uh, he has to be specific with his economic issue. It's not just enough to lay out what his plans are for the next four years, but to say deliberately how they impact women. So how do they impact the 8 million women who are running small businesses across this country? How do they impact the 5 million women who have been unemployed or underemployed over the last several years? How are they going to impact gas prices for moms that are carting children to and from school, as many of your viewers are this morning. Um, they're concerned about gas prices, grocery prices, those sorts of things. So uh, they need to be a little specific and targeted in their messaging. Uh, the Obama camp as well. Loretta Lepore, thank you very much. I do appreciate your time this morning. Good to see you. Great. Thanks, Ted.